Hi, Phil Aston here from Naz Benny Magazine with another tribute video and this is for James Kotak, the drummer, a musician and this is dedicated to James's family and children and fans of all the bands he's been involved with in his long career. Um, I know I'm doing a lot of these videos and I can't cover everyone and sometimes when I see news that someone has passed away I have to kind of think about do I, how well do I know them should I even try to do any form of tribute for them and from the generation where I grew up and although I love music and I buy lots of new music all of us all of you out there and music fans will know there were times when you could name the bass player, the drummer, the keyboard player, the singer, guitarist of every band you had in your collection. And then as we went through, those of you who were on the same journey as me through the 70s, 80s, 90s, there'd be other bands and you weren't quite sure who, what the lineup was at any given time. And so when I heard that um, James had passed away, I was thinking oh, that's someone I'd probably, I don't know that well. It's only when you start to dip into your record collection, you think, oh, that's James Kotak. And what made me want to do this um, small tribute for James was primarily um, this album, which is Mean by Montrose. This was when Ronnie had decided to come back to rock to almost like try and revisit the initial um, template of what Montrose was. I think Ronnie had always been trying to not repeat himself and, you know, almost kind of in denial of just how fantastic and how many fans the first Montrose album had. And James Kotak plays drums on this and it features some fantastic songs, some of the main ones, Man of the Hour, Infra Machine, Flesh and Blood, um, Reading William Abel is probably my favourite track. Um, and yes, the whole band is on fire. But I think James here really holds down, you know, the great drum beat. But it wasn't this, well, yes, it was this one. But when I was thinking, of what else have I got that really features James on drums that really is an album that's meant a lot to me? Um, and it was this one, Kingdom Come. The first album was seen as like um, a Zeppelin type thing, wasn't it? And they had a lot of criticism over it. But this one, I think many people who heard this one knew that they'd arrived. And if there was any kind of plantesque, pagest kind of zeppelin thing, they were fading into the background. Do you like it? It features one of the best riffs from that period. One of the best riffs of, of hard rock metal ever. And James Kotak is a, obviously a, a component, a member of, you know, this band. And it's a superb album. James spent, I think, 20 years in the Scorpions. It's two decades. And again, as we go through life, we start to think of the Scorpions, you know, starting when I first got into them, which is 1974. You know, 10 years on from that, 84. This is 20... I think for a lot of us, the 90s, before Classic Rock magazine came along, was like a desert. We weren't quite sure what was going on. And bands like the Scorpions were doing their best to navigate through the worlds of grunge and new metal and stuff, and they did. And they also made some quite experimental albums. And Humanity was one of them, which again James is on. Um, this is a superb album, which I think I've talked about on the channel before. Um, but again, James is with that. And you, you remember when you say someone's been with a band for 20 years, how many of us have worked in the same place for 20 years? It's a long time. You know, it really is a long time. And also, um, Sting in the Tail, great album. And I think my favourite, Return to Forever, especially this edition, which comes with two DVDs, you know, showing the band with James and what they could do. But the other reason I wanted to say something about James Kotak, the musician, is that there's lots of things on the internet um, at the moment about James's sad passing at the very young age of 61, wasn't it? And after a few lines, literally a couple of sentences, 
everything then dives into his personal life and these personal demons and the challenges he had with health and his political views and it's that kind of thing upsets me further because that's not his legacy that is his legacy that his kids are going to remember him for you know their dad he's a musician he's a drummer and all the posts i've seen within the now spinning magazine post um facebook group is about the fact the loss of a musician and someone who helped create some wonderful music with some of our favorite bands we all have personal demons and stuff like that but it is annoying that this one of the largest rock websites out there it's the whole focus was you know trying to get hold of someone from the scorpions to see if they sacked him because of his alcohol problems or whatever i mean whatever happened it happened but that is that might be a gig that was a badly played gig or something as, as one of the things talks about a gig with kingdom come or something but the albums these are the things that he'll be remembered for these are the this is this is the legacy it's all the albums and the concerts that are on this you know these dvds that's where you can see james in his full glory and showing what talent he had you know he really did have some great chops as as a drummer and so i just felt because of seeing all this kind of clickbaity pseudo negativity around him to try and draw some controversy that's not what i'm about and it's not my enjoyment of music and i think there's enough darkness in the world really and it's really sad that another musician someone who was part you know part of the jigsaw of the soundtrack of my life that you know until you know he, he came across my radar again yesterday realizing actually he is part of the fabric of the soundtrack of my of my life you know through these three particular bands that i really really like that it's a sad loss and so i just wanted to put something out there that hopefully balanced some of this out to just see james kotak the musician the talented musician a young guy started out with Montrose, made a name for himself, Kingdom Come, 20 years with the Scorpions, also spending time with Schenker, Warrant, um, you know, and Dio, and lots of other things, his own band as well. So much more for many of us to explore. So it's not just another footnote of another musician, um, but it's focusing on the skills of us as James as a human being. So thank you for watching. And thank you for being here. And remember, music is the healer and the doctor. Take care. Keep spinning those discs. And today, spin. Kingdom Come. Do you like it? You know, it's a great, great track. Some great stuff out there. Thank you. And I'll talk to you all very, very soon.